Every team has that one guy, that one guy that finds a way no matter what to make the NFL 53-man roster. You might not think that he should be there, but he finds a way to make the active 53-man roster. That person this year for the Detroit Lions is none other than Will Harris. Now, Will Harris, there's not a lot you can say about him that is good, okay? Will Harris drafted as a safety in 2019 under the Matt Patricia era was converted to a cornerback. And a lot of people, a lot of people in the comment section, one of the first things that they wanted to know is when we waive Chase Lucas, how in the world could we waive Chase or even Starling Thomas V before he got signed by, to Arizona and keep Will Harris? Well, you know, you're not the only one to feel that way at all because somebody on Twitter had that same question. Let's check it out. Coming from Jay Rose, he said, what does this team see in Will Harris? I'm genuinely curious. Jeremy says, Harris was arguably the best cornerback on the team last year. I know, low bar. That is a burn. <laughs> and he can play every defensive back position. Having a player that like that on your game day roster leaves you a ton of flexibility in case of injury. Well, you know, being on this platform, I am the one making the videos. I am the one who gives my my their opinion. And when I gave my opinion on a certain James Houston, you guys let me know how you felt, right? In that comment section, you kept it a hundred. You clap back. You say what you had to say. And whatever that was, I had to stand there and take it. And that is part of this job is to be able to take criticism. And I can, as long as it's respectful, right? And I guess Will Harris had had enough because Will Harris clapped back. Will Harris clapped back to Jay Rose. Let's see what he had to say. He says, that answer your question? Because y'all only prefer the PFF and coverage stats when it's convenient. The coverage grade on PFF is what it was last year. And y'all shrugged, shrugged it off. Get a tackle for loss, PBU, sack, force fumble, etc. Hear nothing. Give up on a pass. Hear, hear it all. He continues. I never respond to these, but I figured out, but I figured I shed some light from my perspective. Coaches, scouts, watch the entirety of every game, play by play, multiple times, not just the highlights from watching the game recap. This is the big leagues, and every player in this league should know that no matter the criticism, people are always going to have their opinion of you. That's what makes this game so great, the bright lights and the criticism that comes with it. Trust me, I got thick skin, so no criticism could ever ruin my peace, but I'm just genuinely curious as to where a lot of the same people are at when I make a play. Never hear them. So the perception is whenever they speak up, it's bad. The one-sided evaluations are wild now i hear what will gotta say and and yeah i can see that i can see that it's when he's saying where are these same people at got all this criticism where are they at when i make a good play well will i myself will give you mad love on a good play the problem is they're not we don't see them that often that that's the thing what we see now listen will harris is a football player he is in the NFL. He was not one of the thousand. It was 1,1147 people that got waived. Cut. Cut and door wave. Got to make sure I, I say it right. With the 53-man roster cut down. Right? So he made it to an NFL roster, an active NFL roster. Got to give him some credit there. The issue that we have, and I think what <laughs> most of you because I don't want to speak for most of you, but I will speak for myself. The issue that I have with Will Harris is he, he's not in his natural position or what he was drafted as. And there's a distance between the receiver and Will Harris. If the receiver is running a route, most of the time Will Harris is covering a receiver. There is a nice gap between said receiver and Will Harris, the 
cornerback or the safety converted cornerback. And the fact that he continues, he continues to make the roster. And I think in the case of Will Harris, I'm not trying to defend Will Harris. I will talk about him and shout out to Will Harris for having thick skin. Very similar to how it is on, on YouTube, but I could imagine him that it's much, much worse because, you know, that's what it what it means to be in the spotlight. However, I I think he gets love when he does a good play. You might have some people that just never budge. Will Harris, this, Will Harris can never do anything right. Well, I'm not that type of person. If Will Harris does something right, I will give him the praise that he deserves. But the issue is, like I said earlier, in game crunch situations, it's a problem. I will say, in Will Harris's defense, that he is better than, in my opinion, Amani Arararie, who was cut or waived by the New York Giants. And I think maybe just a smidge worse, or smid, yeah, smidge worse than Jeff Okuda. Just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Will Harris... I applaud you for defending yourself and defending your honor because as a human being, that's what you're supposed to do. No matter if somebody tells you to be the bigger person, you still have a right to do that. So kudos to Will Harris. But the issue remains the same. Will Harris is a liability as far as the coverage game is concerned. On special teams, fantastic. On something else, fantastic. But in coverage, most of the time, Will Harris is a liability. And Will Harris, I like when he tried to get snazzy, said people who watch highlight tapes. Well, well, we watch the whole game. We watch the whole game. Now we can't see what the television screen isn't showing us. So maybe you're making a play. Maybe you're blocking down the road. Maybe you are doing something that we can't see on the TV screen. But I think the general consensus of people who may wonder why why he's on the roster is because of the fact that he's a liability. That's simple, right? So Will Harris decided, hey, enough is enough. And he continues to get flamed in the comment section. So he, I'm assuming I didn't go through all of it, but I'm assuming he he gracefully bowed out because he was getting roasted in the comment section, but it comes with the territory. He seems like he has a good spirit about it. He realizes it comes with the game. And Hey, at the end of the day, he is still on the NFL roster and I'm just a dude sitting in his basement talking about his favorite team. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Will Harris. Do you agree with Will Harris that we don't give him praise when he does something good or, or do you still feel like Will Harris is a liability because I thought it was cool that Will Harris clap back. You know, I got to find something to do with this sound bite because it's things are different now, but very interesting to say the least. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Will Harris, man, this is probably the last video for today because I don't think any roster moves are going to be made, but make sure you check out the other videos as well from Detroit Lions Syndicate and subscribe if you haven't already on a push to do something unthinkable. Maybe get to 15,000 by kickoff, which is a week from tomorrow. So I know it's lofty, but you got to dream, right? I will see you in the next video. And as always, go Lions.